in the what in the where I need everything. Artless Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. Yes, guys, welcome to my new channel. First Trap EVA. This is Mikey. So basically what we're going to be doing with this bike, it's going to be coming a full VTB build. It's going to be getting a 2118 wheel set up from us, our very own wheels. It's going to be getting the first trap linkage kit. It's going to be getting a brand new VTB battery, which is only just come onto the market. It's going to be getting a VTB controller and motor. It's going to be stripped right back, all the CNC bits, foot pegs, everything. I've also got some Renful 997 handlebars to go on it. We have got our very own triple clamps designed, which I was hoping to get on it, but they've not come in stock yet. We're waiting on all the stock arriving. You know, if they arrive in the next day or so, I'll get them on so you guys can see it. If they don't, we'll do another video when we upgrade them parts. Um, I'm also going to try and find a decent sticker kit guy to make me a full complete graphics kit for the bike and then I'm hoping to go out do some test runs get a range test done get probably I've just um, invested in a dragger so I'm probably gonna do some drag races with it I'm thinking of putting it up against the Ewatt battery which I, f I think is 81 volt off the top of my head new video guys bear with me um, right I'm just gonna show you through these bits quickly so I've got the 2118 wheel set up by us first trap. I've got the new VTB battery that I'm pretty sure I'm the first person in the UK to get my hands on one of these. The quality of this just looks insane to be fair. Um, I'm going to show you the fast charger later. That's the power harness. Then we've got foot pegs. We've got the linkage kit which is also our own design we then have all the anodized stuff we have the VTB beast motor and obviously the VTB controller so I'm gonna get on my way now with putting this together again I'll probably do a bit of a voiceover just give you some more information on all the parts where you can access them and stuff Right, so I'm just going to do a bit of a voiceover now and just go through some of the work that I'm doing on the bike. So first of all, I'm just stripping the front headlights to get access to all the cables behind there because a lot of it's going to be getting disconnected now. I won't really be using majority of the cabling that's behind there anymore as the screen's going to be getting disconnected, the throttle, the brake sensors, a lot of it I'll just won't bother using anymore once I fit this VTB controller. Also I'll bring the harness from the controller up the side of the frame and behind the headlight which I'll then connect the new VTB throttle regen and cockpit to. I'll then bolt the screen to the original place that the ultra screen sits. And to be fair the fit of the screen is perfect as well it's like a more or less a direct replacement for the OEM screen and obviously it's in full digital color it just looks fantastic obviously now I'm just stripping back the battery getting back to the harness the controller and stuff all that's going to be coming out as obviously it's no longer going to, going to be getting used one thing I just want to say quick guys though is when I'm doing this kind of work I always look to try and make the build as cheap as possible. So if you're ever looking to do this kind of work, one thing I suggest is just making sure you try and maximize the amount of money you can get back on your second hand parts. Like for instance, 384 there for a second hand one, which is not in good condition, 480 for a brand new one, 400 for another second hand one, but in good condition. Even wheels, like you'll see these wheels here now, second hand, look at the state of them, 250, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're sold. This is what I mean about trying to get maximum profit back on your second hand parts. This is just gonna reduce the cost of the build overall. Don't be scared to sit and wait on the parts, 
but there's other platforms like Facebook Marketplace where you can advertise all these parts for free. It's not gonna cost you a penny. So that's just one thing I'd like to just push, just advising you that make sure when you're doing any upgrades on your bike that you're also thinking about the return on the parts that are on the bike because it's just important to make sure that you're not just chucking money away on these bikes and you're trying to make sure that your overall build is at a more affordable price. Anyway, so next I'm on to taking off the rear subframe. Um, Luke, who I work with, showed me this is one of the best ways to take the linkage and triangle off and the rear shock. You can literally take that whole part off as one. So obviously I removed the rear subframe and then obviously after that I'll take off the shock, triangle and linkage all as one part. It's easier to work on then. Then obviously when I get it on the floor, I can strip the linkage and triangle off, grease all the new ones up, swap the parts over and replace that full section as one piece. I just find it a much easier way to do the linkage and triangle. Also the linkage and triangle that we sell on the website, I'm not just saying this guys, it's probably one of the best. There's no movement in it at all. There's so tight to get on but that tightness just creates so much less movement. When I first started doing the parts, I used to get some of the CNC Chinese stuff that everybody gets. And that stuff I found to have a little bit of play. So obviously I decided to create my own and so much better. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the specifications that were sent to me by VTB for the new battery. So the battery specifications, the capacity is 72 volts, 65 ampere hour. The cell information are Samsung 50Ss. The protection board information, it's an Ant BMS, 850 amp model. The power and current, so the peak power on the original control is 12.5 kilowatt. The modified control is 41 kilowatt. The peak current is 550 amp. The weight is less than 23 kilograms. The range of the battery is in kilometers. So I'm just gonna read it in kilometers. So it's 165 kilometers traveling at 40 kilometers an hour. The installation method, it's just a direct fit. So there's no need for the extra large battery lid that you get with some of the other big, uh, bigger batteries. Compatibility, it's compatible with the original instrument, the original controller, and the original APP data retrieval. And it also is compatible with the original charger. Right, so one thing I'm just gonna pick up on quick, guys, while I'm doing this linkage and triangle, is we have a lot of customers who forget to take these bushes out of the old linkage and put them into the new linkage. So one thing to remember, always take these bushes out grease them and put them into the new linkage because if you don't put these in you're going to smash the bearings to bits on the new linkage and then you're going to be coming complaining looking back up on the situation regarding the linkage one thing to do guys whenever you're doing any work on your bike is always just try and watch some youtube videos about the work that you're about to do and just give yourself a bit more information regarding how to do that repair or part exchange. Because so many people just jump straight into it and think it's easy, you just get a spanner set and you're off. And they just create more damage to the bike than they would if they paid someone to do the work. So it's just one thing to think about as well, just always making sure that you just educate yourself a little bit before you attempt any work yourself. And another thing as well is just take your time don't rush it, and if something doesn't seem right, go and get the information you need just to double check it before just putting your bike back together. We have so many times where bikes are brought back in because they're not running right or when they've had a repair, the parts haven't been put back. Just think about it a little bit because it'll just save you so much money. OK, 
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go through where we're at now. Linkage is on. Obviously they've turned the bike upside down just to make it a bit easier while the bike's stripped down so much. Ready to put the VTB motor in. Obviously we've got the new style motor on this bike, English version. Um, I need to know everything. Who in the what in the where? I need everything. Artless Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you'd be surprised at the info you get. Is by so this is where we're up to now. We run out of space on the memory card, so we had to download the videos that we've done so far. So we've got the battery frame guards on, we've got the foot pegs, stand, foot peg hangers, we've got the linkage and triangle, first trap. So I'm going to crack on with the build now, probably get the motor on, rear wheel, and then we'll see where we're at guys. So at this point, obviously I've got the front wheel on and then I just started to make my way onto the back end of the bike, getting all the axle greased and put through, lining everything up. I had to get the chain, ten chain tensioners on and stuff like that. Then I made my way onto the front of the bike, started working out the best way to route all my cables for the new VTB controller, just running in the new harness that goes from the controller up to the light which obviously then I can connect my throttle regen and cockpit to. At this point, I didn't have my new graphics kit, all the Renfo bars that I was still waiting on. Obviously, by the time I get to the end of this video, I should have them installed. At this point as well, I was having problems with the memory card and stuff like that, trying to take the data off it so I could record more. But I was getting very close to near the end now of just getting everything lined up, placed into place and just getting the build ready. So off the back of this video, the next video that we're going to be putting out is going to be a draggy, just showing some top speeds that we can get out of the battery. And we're also going to do a range test in miles per hour and give like a bit of an average speed that we did over the duration of that ride. We've also got a Talaria MX-5 that we're going to be looking to fit a VTB controller on, maybe some upgraded parts on that and anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, I, do. I still don't even know whether it's right, but I hope we've done enough for you to come and watch another one, see you later. Yes guys, so this is where we're up to now. We've got the full VTB set up on it, battery, motor, controller. As you can see, all the screens installed and that now. Obviously, put the Renfo bars on, put all the first trap CNC on, first trap wheels. And then one of my favorite parts at the minute, what we do, the first trap linkage kit. So yeah, next step is going to be taking it on a draggy, see what top speeds we can get out of it, and then just waiting on our graphics kit to come. They just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm telling the one if it's coming to blows, my enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they